Welcome back. Uh, you're watching KTN News Desk. Members of Parliament uh, drawn from Baringo, West Pokot, and uh, Elgeo Marquette counties, led by Senate Majority Leader Senator Kipchumba Murkomen, are currently addressing uh, the press in Parliament, speaking about uh, the runaway insecurity in the region. Let's cross over there live and listen in. The border constituencies um, who have uh, security problems in the uh, that that angle, what we call Kerio Valley Triangle of West Pokot, Baringo, and uh, Elgeo Marakat County. Um, we had a situation. We have had situations and uh, of attack uh, involving West Pokot County. Elgeo Marakwet County, on one hand, uh, raids that uh, these uh, men is called uh, cat wrestling, where uh, some Marakwet um, uh, criminals crossed over to West Pokot. Uh, we have those, um, that's between December now. We've had uh, some criminals from West Pokot crossing to Marakwet. We've had also problems of uh, TRT constituency and Elgeo Marakwet, uh, and Marakwet particularly, Marakwet East and West, and the problem of TRT constituency and Baringo North and Baringo South, but in the recent past, uh, Baringo North. And this has involved raiding uh, communities, uh, taking out livestock, and unfortunately, loss of life. We have had a meeting uh, from 11 o'clock. It's about for about three hours. As uh, members of parliament, you can see here, represented from the three counties and three uh, and the various constituencies, to discuss this matter. And uh, today we would like to uh, first of all uh, pass our message of condolences to all the families that lost their loved ones in this very heinous attack. Number two is to say that uh, as leaders of the three counties, um, in the last few weeks we've, we've seen accusations and counter accusations in the media. We want to announce that we have come here as a united front. Uh, some of the honorable members here are being elected for the first time. And we want to demonstrate in this um, period of five years and beyond that leaders can be able to work together and speak in one voice without accusing and counter-accusing each other. We have resolved in one accord that um, the various livestock that were taken to the different parts of the counties, whether it was from Pokot, which happened recently to Marakwet, or what happened before uh, in, a, in December in the uh, uh, Pokots, uh, taking livestock from Marakwet, or what happened in December also where uh, livestock was taken from Baringono to Tiatich and so forth. We have resolved that uh, within this week, we're going back to our respective constituencies and areas, speaking to the locals, looking for the persons who are involved in these acts, and returning livestock to the livestock owners uh, in the various counties. That is the first thing that we have agreed we are going to do this week. Uh, number two is that we have agreed that um, we shall have peace meetings uh, this weekend. Uh, in Baringo and uh, West Pokot and Elgeo Marakwet counties to try and um, look for a, uh, again, because we've been doing this over and over again, but look for ways of trying to calm the situation, but communicate uh, the message that as leaders we have resolved to work together and we're not going to condone acts of criminality across the various constituencies or the counties. Um, the third thing is that we have agreed that the three counties uh, must have a joint um, a leadership meeting of all the governors, MCAs, and the members of parliament to deal with this issue. We are telling our county governments to create departments in the, uh, in the counties that will also sustainably uh, look up to and look into this issue and resolve this issue. We have also um, talking to national government. Uh, we are sitting down to come up with what we call 
flagship projects that are going to unite the people, whether it's in irrigation or education, um, so that then we can put together uh, our people, what we call long-term solutions actually to the problem. Uh, this team, the, the purpose of this press conference is to communicate to our constituents. You are the same people who break the news when there are attacks in that area. Uh, you are the same people who provide the news that uh, it could be uh, suspicion on this leader or the other leader. We want your uh, indulgence to also pass this message to our people that we as leaders are sitting together, finding solutions together, and we are at peace with each other, and we are requesting our people who voted for us in the various places, who are actually one community, to be at peace with each other, to assist us in uh, weeding out the uh, criminal elements within the community, to also assist in uh, sharing information, and ensuring that there is no one who will have peace in the local community without returning livestock that belongs to other people back to where they came from and share information with the government. Uh, for so many uh, times, we usually come here to say, uh, we want the government to do this, we want the government to do this, we want the government to do the other thing. But the uniqueness of this uh, press conference is that we are talking about what we want to do ourselves with our people. The things that we think we must do as community so that when government is uh, coming in, police, security, intervening, and so forth, we think that we have a responsibility as leaders and the local community to be able to find solution. I want to say as a Marraquet, uh, we totally regret and condemn the acts that uh, took place a few weeks ago in West Pocot County in Chesegon area and its neighborhood where Pocot uh, uh, suffered attack from uh, criminals that came from Marraquet side and led to loss of life. Uh, not, not one, not two, not three, uh, about four people who lost their lives. And um, in the same breath, I know my friends from the uh, Pocot side have condemned similar attacks in the past in the Marraquet side. And for us, we must remain consistent. If that attack happens in Marraquet, it is wrong. It is still wrong if Marraquettes attack the Pocots. Uh, we will work together with the leaders of West Pocot County to see how we can help the families uh, that lost their loved ones um, at this very painful uh, uh, occurrence and uh, acts of criminality. Uh, I think that is really the message for today. Uh, the message is about uh, the unity of this team. We are going to go to our county this weekend, and the three counties will have three meetings. That uh, whose objective is just to inform our people that we are working as a team. None of us here is uh, encouraging, financing, or um, uh, or inciting people to commit acts of uh, criminality because we all know that we are here. We are staying together in Parliament. We are happy together. We are taking tea together. Uh, we would never want our citizens down there to fight uh, when, in fact, as a matter of uh, uh, fact, we are not fighting ourselves as uh, as leaders or as people who have been elected by our people. Unless there are questions, that's really the message we want to pass today um, uh, about Kerio Valley region and the attacks that took place in that region in the recent past.